so <laughs> uh, it's been a week. It's been a solid, interesting 24 hours and I'm not ready to do this video, but I need to get it done. So here we go. All right, let's take a minute. If you're new to your channel, my, <laughs> your channel. Oh my gosh. Today we're going to be checking out uh, something. I don't even remember. If you're new to this channel, my name is Melody. I am the homeschooler mom, homeschooler, homeschooling. I am the homeschool mom of two kiddos in our blended family of six. Next year will be our eighth year homeschooling. I have some exciting and very new things that we're doing next year, which I am both thrilled about and terrified of because, hey, people, change is scary. Um, but one of the things we're trying is a new math curriculum and we have not used it yet, but the art of problem solving is a program that I did a lot of research about before choosing and I think my bookworm is going to love it. If you find this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, check us out on Instagram at homeschool happy hour and comment in the box below with your feedback because I always love hearing from you guys. Before I chatter on anymore because I have nothing else productive to say after this week, let's open up these books and take a look inside. All right, here we have the art of problem solving. We have the solutions manual and the textbook itself. You can get both of these books on Amazon. I actually purchased them through the art of problem solving website. But if you go to Amazon, this book is available for $53 as your list price. And this book is available for 12. So together, you're not looking at spending a whole lot of money for a whole year's worth of curriculum. I would definitely categorize this one as affordable. First, we're going to look at the textbook itself and explore the inside of it for just a minute. I will remind you that I am brand new to this book and to this program. And so I am kind of learning as I go. Of course, as soon as I got it, I sat down and I looked at all of the beginning materials, but I did that with every single curriculum I've got. And so I can honestly tell you, I don't remember all of it. So we've got a note to teachers and parents, acknowledgements, people to think. All right, and then we're gonna go to our table of contents. You can see what we are covering here. Properties of arithmetic, exponents, number theory, fractions, equations and inequalities, decimals, ratios, conversions and rates, percent, square roots, angles, parameter, area, right triangles and quadrilaterals, data and statistics, counting, problem solving strategies. So mostly in this video, I'm just gonna try and scoot through this a little bit so you can have an idea of what the program looks like if you were to purchase it. The first thing you might notice is it's very wordy. I'm going backwards here a little bit, but you can see there's a lot of explanation happening here. Now I am choosing to use this for our seventh grade pre-algebra and I'm sure that this book spans a variety of age groups. It's not really set for a certain grade. So there is a big section that explains how to use the book and I think Spending some time reading this with your student or your student reading it and making sure they understand this is vital to their success in this program because from what I can tell, it works a little bit differently than the other textbooks that I have used and or seen for math curriculum. All right, so we've got our first one, the 24 game. It explains this at the beginning of the chapters. They have these numbers up here, so it starts with these puzzles that your student can try and solve if they are so interested. And then some more words about why we're starting with arithmetic. You may also notice, we've got 1.2, this is the textbook. So you see this, it has your problems, problem 1.1, problem 1.2, 1 
1.3, they're intermingled in with the text. So it's not like you have this huge explanation and then they expect the student to solve the problems after trying to memorize all the explanation. It kind of gives you the problems as they go. Another thing that I, if I recall correctly, when I was reading the beginning and how to use this book, it talks about how it gives students problems before entirely explaining how to solve the problems to give them an opportunity to experiment with and try and figure the problems out for themselves. And then it gives them what the answer should have been and um, an explanation on how they may have tried to solve it. And then we get to the end and it gives you a list of exercises, but it just keeps going. You see, we're already to 1.4 and we're moving right along. Hopefully seeing the inside of it in and of itself is helpful. You can have an idea whether you are going to like it. And I'm sure after we've used it, when I come back and do a review and I'm more familiar with the program, then I can give you a more thorough review rather than just a preview of what the insides look like. So it doesn't seem to be split very clearly into you're gonna do these problems today or these problems tomorrow. I also like that because it's going to work well into our approach to math this year. And that is going to be more student led. So if she finishes five problems, but she really understands those problems, I'm gonna be a lot happier than if she sits there and does three pages of work, but it just feels like busy work and she's not fully understanding what she's working on there. So let's see if we keep going Chapter one goes all the way to page 52 before we jump into chapter two. And the entire book for your child just keeps going along that same style. Explanations, examples, practice problems, and just the goal is for them to better understand the why and how of what's happening rather than just punch out a bunch of numbers. So let's take a, mem a moment to look back at how to use this book. It says the very first sentence says, it's very different from most math books that you've read before. We believe the best way to learn mathematics is by solving problems, lots and lots of problems. In fact, we believe that the best way to learn mathematics is try to solve problems that you don't know how to do. All right, this is an approach that some people are gonna be like, what? But for some kids, and particularly for the bookworm, I think this is going to be a successful approach. We'll find out. It's got some icons, concepts, importance, and warnings, resources, hints, solutions, all that kind of stuff. So the solutions to all of the exercises, review problems, and challenge problems are in the separate solutions manual. Let's look at that, shall we? Oh, in case you didn't notice, this is a very thick book. Um, if my kiddo finishes it in one school year, then great. But the approach I'm taking this year is if she doesn't, then that's fine too. She's 11 years old. She's starting seventh grade. If she takes pre-algebra through seventh and eighth grade, I'm okay with that. I would rather her absorb the materials and start to learn to enjoy math than to have to go, go, go all the time. The Art of Problem Solving Solutions Manual is a little bit different. It is much smaller, of course, because it doesn't have all those wordy explanations. It just gives you the answers, just like any other solutions manual. This is not complicated, and there's not a whole lot to see here other than it just has your answers laid out for you. I will know if you go to the problem solving, or sorry, the Art of Problem Solving website, they have videos that go along with every lesson. I did watch some of them. I thought they were kind of cute. Uh, it kept my interest for sure, more so than when we were using another math program. And so we do plan to use those lessons. This is the printed version of this program. They have this entire program online. So you can do just printed, you can do just online, you can do a combination of the two. However, you feel will work best for your child, your family. There's a few options there. So that's all we got. Answers, lots and lots of answers.
I hope that preview was helpful for you. I hope that we like this curriculum as much as I think we're going to like this curriculum. And if you have used it before and you have information that would be helpful to me or other viewers that are checking this out, please leave it in the comment box below. If this is a brand new curriculum you've never checked out before, but this review is helpful, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, do all those cool things. We have finally made it past the 300 mark on our channel, which I know isn't a very big number in the world of YouTube, but I'm really excited about it because I had a goal to reach 500, thinking that it was an unattainable goal because who wants to listen to little old me talk about homeschool curriculum and whatnot, but we're already at past 300. And so I'm starting to believe that 500 is a doable number. So the more feedback I get from you guys, and your liking and subscribing and sharing with your friends, all that kind of stuff is really, really helpful and a great boost. I think that's all I've got. So I will catch you next time.